everyone it's Sunday the 13th of September uh, I've got a few jobs to do today I've got a problem with the cistern in the bathroom I think the siphon's given up the ghost so I've got to go and Gary see if I'm fine with those got to wash the car uh, but first I think it's breakfast time we're gonna have bacon and egg sandwiches so here we go But this cistern ain't going to be easy. Years ago, when I um, done the bath, redid the bathroom, I boxed the cistern in, not thinking about if I need to maintain it. So now the siphon's gone, I can't get at the nut at the bottom of the cistern. So this is what I'm up against. All boxed in, cistern in there, I've got to get the siphon out. So what I've got to do now is cut a hole in the bottom so I can get to the nut. I'm a bit of a nut for leaving it like that, aren't I? took me, I didn't time it, but that had to be about 45 minutes to an hour, just to cut that out. I didn't want to do too much damage because it's got to go back again. But what a burk bo boxing that in in the first place. Look at that, God. So at least now I've got an access to the bottom of the siphon tube. So now we can take that out. There you go. I knew what the problem was, is this membrane here. What happens is when it's up that way, the water gets pulled up by that and then it flushes down the toilet and then that's got a flat back to let more water in. So when you pull that up with your toilet lever, it pulls the water up, it goes up there, down there and into the cistern. So now I've got to replace that bit of plastic or buy a new siphon. Like I said, that's the problem. I found that's a little bit too thick, but I think it's going to do. So what I've got to do now is cut a piece of that out. Same shape with the holes like that. And I think that will do the trick. Right, siphon's back in. Now we've got to check for leaks. Check down below. Any leaks? Doesn't look to be. Right. Right, the cistern's full. This piece here, I've actually replaced with an old coat hanger because the bit in there before broke. And you've seen inside the siphon the plastic membrane that had split. I've used a thicker piece of plastic from an old protective plastic mat. So should we try it? Here we go. Yes! Jobs are good and I'm well jumped for that. It did cost me a penny. It cost me a couple of hours work. We've got to get this put right soon, but we're not going to do that at the moment. I'll just leave that open so you can just check that there's no leaks. That's no problem. You can soon fill that in. But yeah. I'm well pleased with that. Recycling at its best. We're off out to find a roast dinner. Hopefully. Find, find a roast dinner. Hopefully at a castle tavern down in Gosport. Do a lovely roast dinner, but it's getting a bit late now. But yeah, so we'll see. If not, we'll have to go somewhere else. Off she goes, look. I'm being chauffeured again. Mean off she goes, look. I'm being chauffeured again. 
Only twice in two days. I think I better put my seatbelt on. Well, we didn't go to the Castle Tavern, did we? No. It was rammed. We just looked through the window and thought, no. So we have ended up here. Not at the news, at Weatherspoons. So, not where we wanted to be, but it's not as rammed, is it, hun? It's a bit more rammed, isn't it? Yeah. So not as nice food, though. Not as nice food, but still, they've got what we wanted. So that's should've, amazing. You should have booked. You should have booked. Never mind. At least we're out for a Sunday dinner and we're not rubbing shoulders with millions of people, are we? Riffraff. Riffraff. Gospel riffraff. Riffraffy in here. It's riffraffy in here, but the food ain't that bad. I've had worse. Really? Brucey bonus, it's a birthday bonus. Oh, so that's very nice. So we won't be eating much tonight, I don't think, do you? No. Stuffed. Stuffed. Come on, lights. Let's go. Shh. Jingle, jingle. Can you hear our bottles in the back? Go to the bottle bank. Here we go, look. Bumps. Oh, look at it. Makes it sound like a couple of winos, doesn't it? <laughs> They're all empty. They're so all empties. Well, so we are a couple of winos. <laughs> Off back now to the bottle bank and then home. To do some editing. To, to, uh, hopefully, do some editing. I've been putting it off long enough. Anyway, we'll have a go, see what happens. I'd say the first one's going to be a bit boring because there wasn't a lot going on down in France. So I was tucked up with that other driver. Uh, but it, 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 the, it, it, it will get better as we go along because I'll get more used to it. So, it's like everything. Practice makes perfect. Not been a lot going on tonight after we come back from the pub. I've just been messing about on my laptop really to get things set up with YouTube and my Google account which I've had to mess about with passwords and things um, I had to reset my password to set my YouTube malarkey up to upload the vlogs so I'm going to cut you loose now my lovely wife is making me some sandwiches for tomorrow look. yes I am what lovely I'm making my sandwiches oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for today. I'm sorry it's been a bit boring this evening. I'm going to sort my case out, ready for work, because it's going to be um, a long two weeks, I think. I've got to go to Paris next weekend, which I'm not really looking forward to, but that's life. Anyway, catch you later, folks. See you tomorrow.